Pokemon Omega Ruby Extended Hardcore Nuzlocke. Um, I would have never said, I would have never thought I would say this, but I have been failed by technology. I, well, it's also my fault. I accident, I accidentally deleted the footage of me defeating Wally for the uh, in the final fight of the of the of the run, and I was pretty devastated because no, nothing is left of that fight except the the strategy video prior to the fight and the aftermath picture with lantern dead with and with swallow and uh, septile at level 80 that's the those but i don't have the footage of the fight uh so a little devastated at first then i thought wait a second in that fight i only used three pokemon i still have the other three pokemon that i have planned to use for that fight which you know oh i found the trainer cap for uh Fortunately, I found where it was. So I only used these three, right? They still have the damage from the fight. You see, 122 HP, up 60 HP, it's still poison. He is unfortunately dead. But because, okay, I only used these three during the fight. Um, uh, Camerupt, Tanacruel, and Metagross are perfect they, they have not been used which is pretty funny to think that for the final fight of the run I will only have to use three Pokemon right um, but since these three were not even used I decided you know what let me build another team and record the fight again let me record another another Wally final fight let me call it Wally final fight v2 version 2 and so I started looking at what do I have in the box that can fill the gaps in my team if I start building it from 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 half? And so I came across Manectric, who can basically do Lantern's job at taking Talonflame's Brave Birds and its Steel Wings. It cannot take a Flare Blitz. It cannot take a crit flare blitz for sure, but it's faster, so we don't have to worry about that. And obviously, you can take it out in one shot with with Thunderbolt. Um, it also can learn Thunder Wave in case I need it for Gallade, and it can also take out a Zumarill if 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 we need to, right? And it can also upspeed Garchomp and Mega Gallade. To inflict some damage in case we needed to with flamethrower or thunderbolt although i was thinking that maybe the set the manectric has should be thunderbolt uh thunder wave protect and substitute over flamethrower because it, it uh, because this set basically stalls out tailwind if if we need if it needs to which might be the case because as, as 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 I saw in the last fight, Talonflame does like to go for Tailwind. Uh, there's no footage of that, unfortunately. But uh, when I was trying to defeat, when I was battling Wally, that Talonflame went for Tailwind over Brave Bird on my on my lantern. Then I thought, okay, Golem. Golem is an amazing Pokemon because it's a contingent it's a contingency plan for almost anything that could go wrong. Because it has sturdy. Let's say Gallade doesn't die. Let's say Garchomp doesn't die. Let's say Talonflame doesn't die. Golem can take any single one of their moves with Sturdy and retaliate with super high attack, especially if it has a choice band with Earthquake or Ice Punch or Brick Break or Rock Tomb. Whatever it needs to do, it'll do it, which is great. So Golem is the fifth member of the team because it's an amazing contingency plan for uh, the big two of Wally's team, big three rather, in case stuff got, goes uh, extremely sour. And then I, did, I, but then I realized, okay, wait, I'm missing something. I'm missing the Rose Raid, the Rose Raid killer. Because although, Me okay, Mega Metagross that cannot even kill it in one shot with Ice Punch. And it gets 
killed by a super effective shadow ball crit and it also cannot learn white cannot hold white lens because it has to make a ball so then i thought okay maybe i can use blissey but blissey gets hit quite heavily by petal blizzard and poison job because they're their physical moves and camera up and tentacruel they need to be in tip-top shape for magnezone and garchomp respectively and azumar as well Tentacruel. okay who can fulfill that role then medicham because medicham is so powerful that its ice punch is is stronger than mega metagross's ice punch and it one hit ko's the rose rate Maybe that's not accurate. But the reason why I chose Mega Medicham, sorry, the reason why I chose Medicham over Mega Metagross at any rate is because Mega Medicham can hold the wide lens so that Ice Punch will never fail and it'll just one shot the the um the Rose Ray. And another thing that I that I noticed while I was planning with Mega Medicham, with uh, with Medicham as a lead. Another thing that I noticed is that Medicham will will call out. Um, it will call out Talonflame or Azumarill pretty early in the fight, which allows me to give Tenacruel and Manectric a little bit more breathing room. Because if Manectric has to switch into a Brave Bird, it might not survive the second one. Because Talonflame might see the kill with the second Brave Bird. And just and go for it and kill it. Maybe that's not the case if I put some defense investment. I still haven't done the Calx. So maybe that's going to change in the next video when I do the Wally Strategy video. Because uh, Manectric still outspeeds Talonflame even with like less speed EVs, right? Uh, I still have to formulate a, like the backup strategy for Talonflame because I might need have I, need, I might need to use Golem Golem for that Talonflame. Uh, so yeah, my next trick is still is a little frail. I have to be careful. So basically, but having Mega having Medicham on the field, uh, yeah, having Medicham on the field, it, it baits out either Talonflame or Azumarill. And uh, Medicham is gonna is gonna die anyway. Um, unfortunately, that's just its fate. After having served us so so well, it's still destined to to die because I need a switch. I need a I need a clean switch on the. On the on the guard chomp to bring in tentacle tentacruel I have to do some pivoting around guard chomp okay because I don't have the bulky septile anymore I cannot use that anymore uh, and then okay and then for mega galade I mean I have mega metagross like I discussed in the last strategy video I have mega metagross who can take it out and camera up obviously is still there as the magnezone counter I still have Tentacruel for both Garchomp, Outspeed, One Shot, and Azumarill to hit KO. So, uh, since I'm recording this and I'm not going to delete this video, let me put Swellow here. Resting. Let me put Septile here. Oh, true. Okay, let me put... Let me put... Let me bury Lantern. Such a brave soldier. You fought amazingly. If only there were footage of that. I know what happened in that fight. Lantern took out Azumarill, Talonflame, and Magnezone and sacrificed himself for the switch, the clean switch on Mega Galade, which wasn't necessary, but I, at the moment I, I, I deemed it necessary. Yeah. And obviously, Septile fulfilled its its role as well. It took out Garchomp like a boss. Super proud of that. Super, super proud of that. 
and thus it deserves it truly deserves to be hailed as the leader of this whole military campaign of, as the commander of the army but yeah now we go back to the basics we need to go train again but yeah, so I have to do some calculations around Talentham, of course, because it's the most it's the most volatile, no pun intended, member of Wallace team. So you have to watch out for that. I have to watch out for that for sure. But yeah, so basically the, the new team will be um, Medicham, Camerapt, Tentacle, Golem, Manectric, and Mega Metagross. Okay, Wally, we're gonna steamroll you one more time. <laughs> 